What up though, it's your boy Philip J. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to connect your cell phone camera to the webcam of your computer or laptop. The built-in webcams that come in a lot of uh, laptops are pretty bad. The image is grainy it's, and it's also dark so it's hard to see. And with a lot of video conferencing going on with friends and also for your business, sometimes it's a lot better and more professional to use your phone camera, which is much better for even $200 phones than what's on your $600, $700 laptop. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. First thing you wanna do is you wanna download the same app on your phone as you would on your laptop. Now this app is called IV Cam and it works for both iOS and Android. But for your computer, you will need to use a Windows because this doesn't work for uh, MacBooks. You wanna go to this website called www.e2esoft.com. Okay, and then you'll actually see the app right here. It's called IV Cam or Ford Cam. Then go under Apps and hit IV Cam. Scroll down, Download for Windows. That's what you want to click on. And here it is on your home screen. On your cell phone, go to the Google Play Store or iPhone App Store. Open it up. Type in IV Cam. It should be the first one that pops up with over a million downloads called IV Cam Webcam. So let's download that boy. And then make sure you allow access to the app so it can take videos and pictures and audio. After you get the IV application downloaded on your laptop and cell phone, next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you're connected on the same Wi-Fi network for both devices. This application runs through either Wi-Fi or USB but the USB option is more complicated, so I'll save that for our next video. But for now, connect to the same Wi-Fi on both devices. Let's open up the IV application on the laptop first. So right here, this is what usually comes up. That means it's waiting for the cell phone. Open it up on the cell phone. All right, so they're connected. And then you wanna hit this button right here in the middle, that play button. And look at that, wow. That image quality is crisp. I'm not gonna lie to you. That is extremely better compared to my webcam. There's also some other cool things you can even do with this. You can even change the face the back camera. All right. This image sometimes is a little bit better because the back cameras are almost always better than the selfie camera. Another thing you can do is you can change the position. So this actually is better for me. You can even change the lighting for it. Not a fan of that one. You can even put flash if you want. There's also some settings you can change on the windows. So go to the settings button on the bottom right, then hit settings again. And then under playback devices, make sure it's set to none because you'll hear like a screeching sound when it's on speakers. You can also change the video size or quality dimensions to 1080. Let's try that. And the video FPS. Now, I don't know if that made it better or not, but I'll keep it this way. Another cool thing is the video orientation on your cell phone. So if you put portrait mode, it'll actually apply it this way. Yeah, I don't really like that. Now let's compare this camera to my webcam on my laptop. See the huge difference there is. Just type in camera. Look at this. Look how much more grainy that picture is and darker and how much more light there is when I'm using my cell phone. That's just because they're more optimized. They're better cameras than what they install here. These are usually cheap cameras. Even something uh, $800, $1,000 laptop won't have as good as a camera as this $200 phone that I have. Now the last thing, let me show you guys how to set up the IV cam on video conferencing applications such as Skype, Zoom, uh, Microsoft Teams, when you turn on those applications, the default app will be your webcam. But all you have to do is just go to the settings, find where it says video, and change it to IV cam. That's it. I'm going to show you a couple. Right now, I'm going to host a meeting on Skype. All right, let's start the meeting. And as you can see, here's my webcam and how bad it looks. I mean, the image is pretty bad. So go under the bottom right, there's a section with three buttons, that says more. Hit audio and video settings. And then under camera, 
choose IV cam and voila look at that holy crap I am just shocked the lighting is amazing I can clearly see my face better and uh, there isn't too much of a lag either so it's pretty good so that's how you guys can do it for Skype right now I'm on zoom and here it is again my webcam change it on zoom you go to bottom left here where it says stop video you hit this up arrow and then you select the camera you want there and wow <laughs> impressive huh i know I, I was shocked too when i found this out <laughs> but here it is i mean you guys can clearly see there really isn't no lag on the video either also i do think the zoom one is actually a little bit better it looks a little bit better compared to the skype and it'll kind of be the same way for other applications like Microsoft Teams. If there's somewhere you can go and switch the camera and that's all you have to do. Now, the only downside with this application is recording audio. So my microphone right now is attached to my cell phone and not my laptop. Because if you attach it to your laptop, then you're going to hear this repetitive sound that just says, uh, this is a trial version. This is a trial version. So it's a, w a way for them to stop you from using their application without paying for it. So if you want to record a video and use your microphone on your laptop, it's not going to work. But when you're just making phone calls with people through Skype and all those other type of applications, you can plug in your headphones and it'll work fine. So that's something to keep in mind when using it. And if you guys like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. I want to keep making this content for you guys. In my next video, I'll show you how to actually use the same application but with a usb cable instead of using the wi-fi so stay tuned for that one till next time see you